اوکے امام جعفر صادق علیہ السلام اینڈ جابر ابن حیان امام جعفر صادق علیہ السلام واز دا فرسٹ مسلم اسکالر ہو انکریج ڈیبیٹس اینڈ ڈسکشنز آن ڈفرینٹ سبجیکٹس بٹوین ہم سیلف اینڈ ہز اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ امنگ اسٹوڈنٹس دیم سیلفس جابر ابن حیان واز ون آف ہز ویری فارچونیٹ اسٹوڈنٹ ہو ہیڈ لانگ ڈسکشن ود ہز ٹیچر ون ڈے ان دا کورس آف ٹیچنگ فلاسفی امام جعفر صادق علیہ السلام سیٹ that everything is in the universe is in motion. If there was no motion, the shape of things would be quite different from what, from what it is today. Then Jabir ibn Hiyan asked, Are you sure that everything in the universe is in motion? Imam Jafar Sadiq al-Islam replied, Yes, I am sure. Then Jabir ibn Hiyan asked, Does sound have motion? Yes, it has, but the speed of sound is slower than the speed of light. You see from the distance of the sledge of an iron spit falling on his anvil first and hear the sound afterwards, it is because the light waves which travel faster reach your eyes first and then the slow moving sound waves afterwards. Then Jabir ibn Hayyan asked, can you tell me the speed of sound? Imam Jafar Sadiq al-Islam answered, Archimedes, the Greek philosopher who measured the speed of sound, has said that if a man is 400 zero, One zero equals 40 inches. Away from the source of sound, he would hear after eight seconds. The greater the distance, the longer it will take to reach him. Then, Jabir ibn Hayyan further asked, According to the theory of Archimedes, it would take thousands of years for the, pro- for the prophets to hear the voice of Allah, who is on the other side of the seventh sky. Then, Imam Jafar Sadiq al-Islam replied, O Jabir, it has been said that he is beyond the seventh sky, only to impress upon the common people uh, and the great the greatness of Allah otherwise he is everywhere when he wanted to talk to any of his prophets he was so near that his voice was heard immediately and clearly even if he was beyond the seventh sky his prophets would have heard him immediately since his voice is not like the voice of his creations Allah who created the universe only by saying let it be had no problem in communicating with his prophets when Jabir ibn Iyan asked was the universe was created in an instant It is said that it was created in six days. Ja, uh, Imam Jafar Sadiq al-Islam replied, The universe was created, but it was transformed into its present form in a very long time. In the beginning, it was certainly not as it is today. The six days of Allah mentioned in the Quran are not like our six days. The universe came into its present form in six stages or period. Then Jabir ibn Hayyan asked, Can you tell me how long one day is of Allah? Imam Jafar Sadiq al-Islam replied, I will not say something which I do not know myself. If I knew some more about Allah than I know, I would have told you how long is his day. I can only say that it is very long. Then Jabir ibn Hayyan asked, When you say that Allah is everywhere, it means that he is in everything. Therefore, those who say that Allah and his creations are one are correct. In other words, if we believe that he is in everything, we must admit that every plant, animal, stone, and star is Allah. Imam Jafar Sadiq al-Islam said or answered, You are wrong. Allah is in the plants, animals, stones, and stars, but they are not Allah. Just as the oil and the wick are in the lamp to produce light, but they are not the lamp. Allah was in everything to create it, and he is in everything to protect it and preserve it. However, the things which have been created cannot claim to be the creator. Those who believe in the unity of the creator and creation are deceived by their own false logic. It is a great fallacy to say that because Allah is in everything, therefore everything is Allah. If, if it is true that everything is Allah, then everything must have the power of Allah. Has anything in the whole world has a power of Allah? Can those who believe that everything is Allah produce by saying, let it be even one grain of sand? Then he said, That Allah is everywhere and he is in everything, but every place and everything is not Allah. All of them are his creations. And then he further answered, he has created eternal motion, which is essential for the survival and existence of all animates and inanimate objects. Nothing can exist without eternal motion, but no one can say that eternal motion itself is Allah. And he further uh, describe about the Greek philosopher who thought, or said that eternal motion was God, he was wrong also. He thought that eternal motion was itself the creator of everything. As a matter of fact, it is the power or the force which creates motion, and it is again the power which keeps the motion in existence. 
If there is no power of force, there would be no motion. The motion may be the creator of everything, but it is the power of Allah which created motion. Then if further described about the Unitarian may accept the eternal motion can bring things into being, which is basically accepted uh, the, the same principles of monotheism. Allah is the creator of the causes and means or instruments. And one of them is eternal motion. And further he described about the Greek philosophers who were talking about that motion is a form of matter and matter is a kind of motion. And without motion, there would be no matter. And if motion stops, the matter would be destroyed. Then he further said that, O Jabber, by saying that everything would be destroyed, they contradict themselves. The same philosophers had said before it is also believed today that nothing is destroyed in the universe. And this over here, he is talking about the concept of uh, the theory of energy, that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Everything changes its form. Human beings are also not totally destroyed after their death. They only change their form just like them. Their thoughts also change the form. What remains of a person unchanged is his soul, which represents his moral and spiritual qualities. Then he further described about, like, O Jabber, believer goes into a rapture when he realizes that the principles of his faith are perfect and infallible. And it is also human nature that one gets delighted whenever he sees something flawless, systematic, and well arranged. Then Imam Jafar Sadiq uh, further replied about the principles of Islam that basically the principles of Islam are perfect and flawless and they are based upon truth and reality. Then Jabir ibn Ayyan asked, common people do not understand the truth of our religious principles and doctrines and do not know that their knowledge was perfect. That is why I persuade them to educate themselves and increase their it not better to explain in simple terms as to why we should believe in them and follow them. Then Imam Jafar Sadiq al-Islam replied, Scientists and philosophers have to prove their theories by reasons and not logic so that they may be accepted by other scientists and philosophers. They are not concerned with common people and will not understand them. Religion is different from science and philosophy. Then Imam Jafar Sadiq al-Islam continued, Canons and doctrine of our religion, as well as all other religions which came before Islam, were communicated in simple terms, so that they could be understood by easily by everyone. But it was not explained why they were sent. Allah has chosen our prophets to spread Islam um, among all the people of the world. It was not sent for intellectuals only, who would not have accepted anything which was not proved by logic and reason. Then he continued, Our Prophet expressed the canons and doctrine of our religion in very simple terms, so that they could be understand by, understood by all. But he did not give the reason as to why they were being imposed, which is the common people could not understand and cannot understand even today. The doctrines of Islam are primarily for the belief of the people and not for the brain. Those who have a brain can find out for themselves why they are formulated. Development of the brain depends on acquisition of knowledge. Therefore, those who wish to understand and acquire knowledge and develop a brain. But those who cannot should believe in them and follow them faithfully. It is sufficient for their salvation. Then Imam, the Imam continued, It requires strong determination, perseverance, and hard work to acquire sufficient knowledge in order to find out the purposes as well as the need for the following rules and doctrine of Islam. Common people cannot afford to do that. They have to work, earn their living, and support their family. Therefore, it is better for them to engage themselves in trade, agriculture, and cattle farming, and learn only the fundamental and secondary rules of Islam. Then Imam Jafar Sadiq al-Islam continued, Your concept of hell and heaven is quite different from that of an illiterate person. If you try to explain him what you understand by these terms, you will confuse him and make his faith shaky. That is why it has been said to talk to people according to their intelligence. Since the Holy Quran was made for whole mankind, it was sent in very simple Arabic, so that everyone may understand it without the help of others. It is possible that for the common people to much misunderstand the meaning of the verse of the Quran if they are not read correctly. To eliminate that, my grandfather, Imam Ali al-Islam, invented Arabic grammar.